Welcome to the channel, I'm Eric Roberts. I'm gonna give you five tips. They are bends, vibratos, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides for the guitar. Hey, if you're an electric guitar player and you don't know how to do these things, stay tuned. I'm gonna show them to you. You need to know this. Bends, vibratos, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides for electric guitar. Uh, it's super important that you know this stuff, and so we're gonna start out with number one, which is bends. All right, now, in bends for beginners, I think about two different kinds of bends. Now, bends can get really sloppy. They can show your novice playing ability really bad. I mean, it's like kind of like, you know, you're just going out to check the mail, and you know, you in your bathrobe, and then your neighbor or somebody you know, like your pastor drives by, is like, ah, I'm in my bathrobe. Uh, that, that's kind of what it feels like if you show up to a gig or you're in a jam session with some friends and they're like, you're playing bins and they sound like junk. You're like, ah, I just feel like I'm in my bathroom checking my mail. Uh, anyway, four finger or three finger, four or three. If you can get these down and get this technique down, four finger bins, three finger bins, then you will be able to do a lot of stuff, especially in the minor pentatonic scale. So four. Four finger bend is that. And three finger would be this. Uh... Okay, so I do a little bend and a little vibrato on the top, but I don't, I'm not gonna get too weird about that. I'm gonna teach you the technique of how to hold your hand for a bend. So basically, you put your four fingers down. On the 12th fret, we're gonna go like, let's oh, 15th fret. So pinky's on the 15th fret. Okay, your pinky's right there on the 15th fret. Now, all four fingers are down, your thumb's on top and then you can just push up, okay? And you can get up to a one note bend, okay? One note bend away. So four fingers, you're trying to bend up to there. And I'm gonna have to smoke through this video because now my brain's just going wild like, oh my goodness, there's so many little things I wanna teach you, but I'm just giving you the outline of these. If you wanna know more about this, you can join my courses where I just dive straight in. Check the links in the description. But four finger bends are just... You're trying to bend up there. So use all four fingers, okay? Whether your thumb's back in the back or whether it's up top, I mean, some people have different feel here. And I'm just saying for me, if I was gonna do like a blues lick and I'll... I would, I would grab that whole thing and just push up, okay? I'd push up with all four fingers. And that brings me to the third finger bend if I was on the 14th fret of the G string. You're gonna go a full step. So bend that 14th up to the 16th. All right, that brings me to vibratos. Would you see that little thing I just did? This is number two vibratos. Number two vibratos. You hear that? Or... Okay, that's a vibrato. And it's hard to do, especially if you think some people are like shake their hands this way, or they try to pull up and down and get all weird. But the vibrato is really just a movement like this, okay? It's a pulling down. So if you um, basically hook your thumb over the top of the guitar like this, and then you just sort of wave back and forth like this, okay, this is the vibrato motion. Now reach your first finger up to like the 12th fret, put the finger on the 12th fret of the G string, and then you can just pull down, slowly pull down and let up. Okay, so take this bottom pinky and push it that way, kind of like let it, let it, it's kind of, it is a weird motion, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie, it's weird. This is just a one finger vibrato. When you get it down though, you're just gonna shake your hand back and forth and your finger, if you notice your finger's moving. When I, when I anchor my finger right here on the bottom of the fretboard and I have that sort of, I'm like holding this right here and then I start moving my hand like this, my first finger is like a hook. See how it's moving? Slowly moving like that, so watch. <laughs> So I'm just shaking my hand. See, I'm just shaking my hand. The best way to practice vibratos for beginners is just go really slow. Get that, get that feeling down and then just go slow. Try to pull the hand down 
wave the hand down and pull that finger. And pretty soon... <laughs> And you can almost, it's almost like a little bend and then a vibrato. All right, and there's more fingers that you can use for vibrato. You can, it's the same feeling and motion, but you can use the third finger, like in the minor pentatonic. So I'm just pulling, again, I'm just pulling down that way. You notice before I was sort of, it sort of starts with a little bit of a bend and then a vibrato, so. So you can bend up and then just kind of do the shake. So it's not like vibratos are like all on or all off or fast or slow. They're, they're, they're fluid. So just get that fluid down. All right, let's talk about number three, which is hammer-on. Hammer-on's much easier. I, I get, now you guys are like, oh my gosh, my brain is gonna explode vibratos. <sighs> okay, that's gonna take some time. Uh, hammer-ons are pretty easy. So hammer-ons are just like this. So pluck on the plug with your pick, pluck with your pick on the 12th fret, and then hammer on the 15th with your pinky. And then a pull off is number four. So it kind of goes like that. Hammer, hammer ons are really just any anytime you play a note and hammer on. once and hammer on. Now pull off is the opposite. So pull off is number four and it's the opposite. You pluck the note and pull off. Now pull offs can get cool. You can do a lot with pull offs. I mean, you can do all kinds of multiple pull offs. You can do this, but the basic thing for beginners is to realize that you play one note and then you pull off that note. Okay, and pull offs can go in uh, succession too, like you can do. So it's just. Ah, oh, we are on number five, which is slide. So you can actually slide too. So I went pull off, pull off, slide, vibrato. So, I mean, if you know these little tricks, you can go pull off. Ah, oh, see there. Vibrato. It takes your playing just to another dimension. So, if you were just a really basic beginner and you just went. Oh, uh, this is not even beginner. I hit a, a pinch harmonic there at the end. So, just like that. Okay, basic beginner. And what if you added that pull off? A little vibrato. Pull off, pull off, pull off. Vibrato. Slide. Which is number five of my techniques. Slide again. Hammer on. Then you have something. Then you have something that's becoming something more specific. It's becoming more musical, and you're becoming more of an intermediate player. So, guys, that's five techniques: bends, vibratos, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and slides. Now, each one of these things to really make them sound great, and it just takes time. It's muscle memory, but you have to know the exact way to do it. So, you don't want to be doing pull-offs wrong, or hammer-ons wrong, or holding your hands wrong. So, make sure you check out some of my courses online. Check out the links in the description for all the courses, for the guitar confidence courses, and for my other courses on Worship the King, Worship Band Builder, Foundations for Church Musicians. Uh, I'm excited about this. I'm going to keep going. This is awesome. Let me know what you want to know in the comments below. So you can do all of these also on acoustic. I have some acoustics I'm going to yank out later. Uh, you can do all of them. They sound different. Uh, but just, just remember that when you're learning these, take them slow and think about the way your hand is moving and what you're doing. If you're just grabbing the guitar and going like, uh, well, I want to do like pull-offs and you just go and you just kind of sound like scratchy, just slow down and take that muscle memory time and learn those right ways to do each one of those things so you can sound This is one of my favorite licks, I'll leave you on it.
like that. All right, God bless you guys.